Hi everyone, so I've been seeing Granny Square bags trending recently and I absolutely love the way they look, but personally I hate sewing like so much. So I wanted to try to make a patchwork style bag that you can make without any sewing whatsoever. So I've been obsessed with Tunisian crochet recently. Um, TL Yarncraft, she has really good Tunisian crochet tutorials and I recently made a blanket of hers called the Pilsen Blanket and it was a super cute blanket which had like different color squares and then they were made with a join as you go method where you didn't have to sew all the squares together, you can just create a column and then slowly add on columns as you go to the right, making a blanket overall. So with that being said, I want to use that technique to make a patchwork bag, but completely 100% no sewing. And so it would be Tunisian crochet. So yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. <laughs> so I have this leftover yarn from Lion Brand, um, Heartland, and I have these colors. And I thought they would be super pretty for this bag. It's kind of like a vintage look and I think it would be very cute. So when looking to see how people make their granny square bags, I just looked up a lot of diagrams online and I found this one that I really liked. So I was gonna try to aim with that look. I actually found it from this creator. I really like the way that it's more like a purse rather than like a tote and I thought that would be super cute to try. So my goal with this is I'm going to try to work the pattern in strips like um, TL Yarncraft's blanket, but where I need to, at the end result where you need to sew it, I'm actually just going to join it as we go. So at the end, it'll be put together and there won't be any sewing that you have to do at the end. I also was trying to figure out which Tunisian crochet stitch I thought would be super cute and I found the Tunisian full stitch and I think that would look really good for this bag because it would look kind of like basket weaved a little bit. I don't know, I think it'll I think it should look really cool. Okay, so I wrote down a little diagram of what I think this is gonna look like. I'm gonna keep you guys I'll have this nice diagram here to the left of me. So that'll help you guys a little bit more because mine's a little messy. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just go for it. Okay, so for square one, I think I'm going to be doing this color. So this is the Grand Canyon color. Um, and I think I'm just gonna like wing what I think the size should be. I'm not really sure how big I want this to be or what it's gonna look like. So we're just gonna just chain a random amount that I think would look good. I feel like that's a good amount for like the first square. We'll find out. I'm going to just make square one and I think I'll come back to you guys when I have the first square done. Okay, so I finished square one and I feel like this is a pretty good size. And then I, fin I fastened it off too because this one is kind of like by itself a little bit. Um, and then two as well, square two is kind of by itself as well. So I think I will just do one more of these, but I'm not gonna fasten it off because I'm gonna continue up the up the column. So yeah, the, I think this, this full Tunisian crochet stitch looks super cool. I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like all together. <laughs> I just finished with square two and I did not fasten off because now we're gonna work up the the column so here's square two and then i think i want to use the orange color because i think that'll be super pretty I'm just going to change colors here and then do exactly the same amount of rows that i did for the other two squares but just in red or orange but i'm also while i go i'm also going to be attaching to square one um yeah, so I have joined square three. So like, I think if I'm understanding the diagram correctly, so like this is gonna be one of the tops of the bag. There is quite a bit of like a space where all three squares were joined, but I think I'll end up doing like a row of single crochets up top so it'll kind of close that up together. I also did forget to mention that I do have a tutorial of this stitch 
and that is here. And I do have a tutorial of the join as you go method and I'll try to put that here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to switch colors again and we're gonna go to square four. And so this one, I think I will move to go to the darker color. I. I'm trying to make it so all the colors aren't gonna be, they're, they won't be next to each other if they're the same color. And if they are next to each other, it's just because they're all in like the same row and it'll look more cohesive together. I'm gonna switch to this brown color now. And all the yarn that I'm using too is also linked down below. They are affiliate links, so if you wanna help a girl out, that would be great. <laughs> I finished square four. It's so hard to picture what it's gonna look like, but I think it's gonna be super cute. I really like the size of this because I wanted it to be more like a purse and not a tote. So I think this should be perfect size, like a little side satchel, side purse. <laughs> I think it'll be super cute. So <laughs> let's see if I can figure it out. I think I may not video that process, so I will show you guys when I have up to here, maybe the next column completely done. Um, I may call it a day for the rest of the day and get to it tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll see, but I really like the pro progress we made and I'm super excited. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, so it is the next day and this is turning out way better than I thought it was going to. Um, are you guys ready? look so literally like I did all of this without any sewing so here's the top and then here's where the sides gonna start so here's the back like the inside of the bag it's so cute and I'm so excited like I don't know how I was able to do this without sewing um in light of this I am gonna write a pattern for this. I already have some notes for it and I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna keep do going what I'm, with what I was doing, going to continue working in strips. Um, so next will be, you guys were with me when I did this strip here, or this square, and then this strip here, but it went all the way around to this guy and attach to the first one that we did. And it literally made the corner so you don't have to sew. Insane! Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna continue going and I can show you guys the end result. But I'm gonna try to release a pattern the same time this video comes out, so the link to the pattern should be in the description below. Hello, so it is quite a while later. I finished my bag. Look how cute it is. So this was done with literally no sewing. There was one point where I had to slip stitch across to, so if you consider that sewing, I'm not sure. But all of these were done with the join as you go method. And so it's a cute little side bag. And so I, this took me quite a while because I finished this bag and while I was finishing it, I actually wrote a pattern and to write the pattern, I made a second bag while I was writing the pattern to make sure that it worked well. <laughs> And so I tried to swap the colors a little bit. So they're a little bit different, but they're the same colors, just a different style of look. I think I'm gonna plan on, I want to put a liner inside of it cause I was a little lazy and left some of my tails out. Um, but I wanna put a fabric liner in this. And then I also wanna put like a, one of those little magnets right in the middle. That way it can close shut. So hopefully I'll be making a video of that soon. I don't really know how to sew, so I'm planning on going to a sewing shop and 
hopefully getting some help by some of the workers there. Let me know if you do this pattern and tag me. I would love to see them so much and all the different colors that you guys make. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this from me, definitely like and subscribe and comment and let me know. Once again, this pattern is linked down below in the description. I'm so excited to see what you guys make.